Today I'm going to show you a amazing early rune farm. You could also use it for mid game. This one you're going to be able to get over 1 million runes easily within the hour. And also you're going to be able to level up up to 100 really easy and fast within the first hour that you're starting your character. Either you're a returning player to Elden Ring and wanted to get another character or you're brand new to the game, this early rune farm is insane. It's going to help you level up. And if you like how that sounds, a like is appreciated. So let's dive into this video. What we're going to do is the following. As you are starting your character, doesn't matter what type of character you choose, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to be able to get prepared to be able to do this very easy. Now you're able to do this. I was able to do this a while ago with a different type of weapon, but today we're gonna show you something different. Go into limb grade. We're going to get the first grace site, and then we're going to go into our first church. Right before we get to the church of LA, we're going to pick up that uh, golden room that's on the floor, and, and you do that to be able to get a torch which you're going to be able to need to be able to do something later in the game then we're going to go up to the next side of grace to be able to pick up our faithful torrent once we do that then we're going to come back right from the beginning to our first side of grace that we got got in uh, link grave and then you go around and drop and you're going to pick up this gold pickle foul foot that is going to give you 30 percent more runes when you are farming of course this is only going to last three minutes just don't do any fast travels and then you're going to be okay after this we're going to pick go pick up our next one and we're going to go to the right side of the map which is going to be right across the bridge as soon as you get there there's going to be this other go pickle foul foot that you're going to pick up now, once you are here, we're actually going to go north and we're going to take this road. What I did here also is I went and I went to those stones where you pick up the map. So you, it reveals exactly where you are because when you are starting the game, you're exactly don't have an idea where you are going. But just follow what I'm showing you here, which is going to take you to the third church of marika and there are a couple of very special items that you're going to need to pick up so we do the lost grace we do the same we grab the sacred tear we got the flax of wondrous physics and also that crimson crystal tear that you're going to need as you are progressing to the game as soon as we get all those different items what we're going to do next is we're going to do and allocate our flask so i'm going to go for more fp because you're going to need that FP for that room farm that I'm going to show you. And right after this, we're going to uh, make like a right turn and we're going to go behind the church and there is like a fast travel location. Now, once you go through there, you're going to come right across where the Grey Joel's Dragon's Barrow is. What you're going to do is you're going to get on torrent and you're just going to go as fast as you can, go through this dragon that you're seeing here and eventually you're going to go across get to this uh great uh lost grace after this one go to the next one that eventually is going to be what we're going to be doing here now as you are seeing here just follow what on my lead and eventually you're going to get to this location now there is a castle once you're here that we're going to go get a special item so as you rest get everything back your hp we're going to go get up and we're going to turn around and go inside this a fourth castle so now follow what my lead that what i'm showing you pick up this special item in this coffin that you're going to need for later on as you are going through the game and then just follow my lead that i'm going to show you here just you're going to pick up another golden rune but especially especially you're as you go down you're going to pick up this radigan's sore seal this thing is very op because you're going to be able to raise a lot of different things that you're going to need to be able to wield one special particular weapon that that's what we're going to do next then we're going to go get the death poker but i'm going to show you a cheesy way to be able to kill this dude not only are you going to get his weapon but pretty much we're going to steal the weapon from him and on top of that 
we're also going to kill him and get those runes that are going to help us. So as you are seeing here, what we're going to do is follow my lead that I'm showing here because you're not going to know where to go exactly because it's going to be a little dark. But I'm showing you as I'm riding here with my torrent very faithfully. He's very faithful to you. And we're going to get to this lost grace. Once we get to this lost grace, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, rest on it and you're going to rest till nighttime because during the nighttime that is when this enemy is going to show up and that is the one we're going to kill and he is very easy to cheese all you got to do is just follow what i'm doing you're going to go straight to the right go around it go to the edge of the hill or the uh little mountain whatever you want to call it and just try to stay on it and then what you're going to do next is we're going to go over this branch or this dead tree whatever you want to call it and you're just going to stay right behind it you're going to be able to see that the enemy is going to try to kill you make sure you have your hp flask um, ready because he might hit you once or twice but if you have it ready when he hits you once just take it again and you're going to be be okay because what's going to happen next is he's just going to jump he's just going to commit suicide he's going to give you the death poker and also all those nice runes that you're going to be able to use now after this which is what 1500 or 15000 something like that which is really good now we're going to go back to that castle so what we're going to do here is very strategic first you're going to equip the seal that you we picked up earlier in the castle so as you equip the seal what it's going to do is it's going to raise your strength, your dexterity, and your intelligence. And that is what we need to be able to equip and use this weapon. This weapon, it's very OP. But what makes it OP is the following thing that you need to do. So what we're going to do is after you rest here, you're going to go to this dragon that he's sleeping. He's being lazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with the death poker. But what you're going to do if you are on Xbox, I'm on Xbox. So what you do is you're going to equip your weapons on the right hand and also the not the death poker and also torch. You're going to equip it in the same section as you're seeing here. But after this, after you get to the dragon, what you're going to do is the following. One, if you have your pickle foot, if you haven't done that, do that right now. Or if you want, you can practice this first. What are you going to do is you're going to hit the dragon with your LT. That is going to perform the special attack from the death poker. As you press that within like about half a second after that, you're going to press on your controller which is going to be the rb as you hit the rb is going to do like a follow-up swipe after that follow-up swipe you're going to switch to the torch and you're going to hit with your rt which is the um the hard hit with the torch at the dragon and that's going to stop the frost and as soon as you start again, the same cycle with the death poker, you hold it and then you do the RB It's going to do the swipe and then the bleed proccing is going to start. And then you hit it with the once again with the torch and you rinse and repeat. Make sure when your FP is down and you have none left, you take the FP and it's going to give you more. So you're going to do the special attack with the death poker and then you're going to stop the frost with the torch. And as you do that, you keep doing that, keep doing that. Now, be very careful right towards the end when you're about to almost kill him because you don't want to kill him completely. What he's going to do, he's going to flinch. As you're seeing here, he flinched. So as soon as he flinched, you got to get on your horse. You got to get on Torrent and make sure you have it ready to be able to mount on him the ring on the bottom too, so you can just use it, jump on it, and go to the Lost Grace and rest on it. What's going to happen next is magic. You're going to get 65,000 if you don't use the gold foul foot, but if you use it, you're going to get 30% more, which is going to be like about 80 Okay. and the dragon is still going to be alive and all you got to do this is rinse and repeat rinse and repeat if you master this and you're able to do this multiple times easy within the hour one million runes or even more easily 
up to 100 levels in no time and then you can just continue playing the game which is going to be a lot easier from being for level 10 to level 100 it's a huge difference so there you go that is how you're going to be able to do this amazing rune farm that still works for 2024 i hope this video was very informative if it did a like is appreciated don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn that notifications to all